<laughs> Let's talk about golf. A sport. Wait, that doesn't sound right. Ah, a game of fun, leisure, and flying murderous death balls that kill small animals. Did you know that an average golfer can hit a golf ball at 133 miles per hour? That's pretty fast. But it got me thinking, just how much damage can a golf ball cause to a person? Hold on a second. Is it weird that I thought that? I mean, it has to be a pretty common question, right, Jake? I've never thought about that in my entire life. Fine. Yeah, I'm the weird one. Whatever. Regardless, that is the question we're hoping to answer today. So come join me on the links and watch me attempt to create the worst golf ball injury of all time for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> As safety advisor, I don't condone any of the following actions or stunts that partake in the next 10 to 15 minutes, so don't do any of this, okay? You, you just watch and enjoy, sit back, eat your popcorn, okay? So, uh, well, how good of a golfer are you, Mark? I was on the high school team. Was the, our high school any good? Uh, we were like second or third in the conference. So not that good, we had a small conference. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that doesn't matter. What does matter is, before I get hit with some balls, we're gonna hit our test dummy that I am naming Joustin Hones. <laughs> That's right, we got ballistics gel now. Thanks to my buddy, Scott from Kentucky Ballistics. He hooked me up with the guys at Clear Ballistics. They sent me this bad boy, and I think it's a good test subject to demonstrate the effects of golf balls. So Mark, I'm gonna have you drive a golf ball right into Joustin Hones here, and we're going to observe what happens? Did you just switch the J and the H? That, that doesn't sound right. I did. Original. All right, Mark. I expect you to hit Jousting Hones. First try. We got the slow-mo here. We can't do too many takes. It'll get annoying. So, I'll do my best. No. Say you will do it. I think I can do it. No. Say... You will do it. I will do it. Nice. Oh, that was a little high. Take two. Go, Mark. Oh! Nice. Let's take a look at that. Ooh, ooh! It it, it cut Jousting Hones. Look at that, you can get a finger in there now. Oh, please don't do that. <laughs> it's a pretty good hit. But you know what I'm realizing about Joustin Hones? Okay. He's a little bit dirty. A little bit dirty. You know what I think? You should probably use the sponsor of this video, Dr. Squatch. For those of you that don't know, Dr. Squatch is changing personal care with high performance natural products that smell amazing and will have you feeling and looking your best. Dr. Squatch has a full lineup of natural products for your entire routine. Soaps, hair care, deodorant, and more. All in the fresh scents inspired by nature. They're also transparent about their ingredients and their production. In fact, all of their products are at least 98% natural in origin. And don't just take my word for it. Seriously, go ahead and take a look at the label. You can pronounce everything on there. They even got super convenient subscription plans with extra savings and free shipping so you never run out when you need it the most. And on top of that, they also got a 100% satisfaction guarantee. Meaning if you don't absolutely love Dr. Squatch products, they'll send you your money back, no questions asked. So what are you waiting for? Don't be dirty and smelly like Joust and Hones. Instead, get yourself some Dr. Squatch by clicking the link down in the description below and use my code Houston Jones, where new customers can get 20% off orders $20 or more. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be honest. Dr. Squatch smells great. Yeah, I mean, I'm not a smellologist, but that's a good set. What, what can I say? It's a good set. We're gonna attempt to hit Jousting Hones center mass and see what it looks in slow-mo. Swing for the fences, Mark. Oh! It came right back at <laughs> Center mass of the box. <laughs> I should have clarified, that's on me. <laughs> Center mass in Joust and Hones. Oh. Yeah, yeah, not the box. So. That's, that went right one between more. my Just one more. arms and body. <laughs> Holy <laughs> Bro, I'm done. <laughs> Where'd that go? All right, uh, I mean, we did see the slow-mo once. Uh, <laughs> Apparently it's hard, Jou Jou Jousting Hones is just too intimidating, you know? <laughs> nah, it's the, it's the step wood. That's scary. What if we put it on the ground? 
There, now I feel a lot safer. Why didn't we do this before? <laughs> Joust and Hones got KO'd. He does. Look at that. The you can the ball like indents around the sides. It cuts it. That's your nipple. It's gone. You just played nipple golf and got a hole in one. We did put a nipple on Joust and Hones. It's a little high, but. It's a little off center nipple, but. It's okay. My nipples are a little bit weird too. He's just like me. No, you got perfect nipples. Thank you. You're welcome. We learned a lot from seeing Joust and Hones get hit, but. One thing I know for a fact is that a ballistics gel has a different consistency than a human. So this is where the true experiment begins. Now, before I get hit with the driver, I wanna test out a few other clubs first. So we have a pitching wedge, then a seven iron, a hybrid, and then the driver that you saw hit Joust and Hones. Also, this channel is all about safety. So I wanted to introduce a new feature to the channel, if you will, the wall of safety. Take a look. That's right. Because Mark's a little bit unpredictable where the golf balls are going, I don't want to take one in the head or the rib. I want to get hit in the leg. So we cut out a hole just for my leg. It's perfect. I'll be safe behind this and it'll only be able to hit me in the leg, which is exactly what we're looking for. <laughs> what could go wrong? That's a pretty big hole. Ah. Look how big that hole is. Look at this, it's perfect. See, it worked. Starting with the pitching wedge. Let's hope it doesn't come back and hit Jake and I. Let's, please don't. What the? I'm what practice, was that? I'm practice swinging. Oh. <laughs> well, tell me when you're gonna swing. I can't see anything back here. <laughs> oh! I feel like you. We need. <laughs> I don't like this game. Hey, you know we're dialing ourselves in. It's all good. It's all good. Oh my God, Mark! I don't like this game. Where was it that time? Low again? I take yeah. it. Low. All right. I don't know. Was it low? I'm not looking. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> you're the one that needs to be looking. I'm looking at the ball, then looking away. <laughs> what? What's going? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! That's a lot of balls. Takes a lot of balls to golf. <laughs> Miss. 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 <laughs> Glad I'm wearing a helmet. <laughs> ah! The wall of safety is scaring me. <laughs> ah! So close! Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Go! That was a hit. <laughs> oh, right in my hip. <laughs> can't see nothing. I know, it's not too bad, but it, I can tell you one thing, you didn't feel good. <laughs> <laughs> I got hit more than you. <laughs> Did you get hit? <laughs> Twice in the helmet. <laughs> hey, good thing you put that thing on. Safety. <laughs> well, we're moving on to the seven iron. Took way too long to get hit with the pitching wedge. You can. First try. First try. Everyone, like this video when it's not the first try, because <laughs> that's exactly what's about to happen. You're about to get zero licks. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's got to like the video. I told you. I knew it. <laughs> Sucker. Oh. <laughs> Why did you hit me? 
Oh, back there! Oh! Oh! Oh, you hit both of my legs! <laughs> what the? Oh. oh, was that the first one? Yeah. I don't even think that went through the hole. I think I ran around the back side. I don't know. I couldn't see. Oh! You hit that leg? <laughs> Yeah. Which is the leg was that was behind, <laughs> and then he hit. Yeah, he did. <laughs> What's it look like? A big red. Nice. <laughs> Let's see if we can get one in the middle. <laughs> oh my god! Oh. Oh. Uh. What's happening? <laughs> will you throw your back out? No, I'm good. <sighs> I'm starting to think this, this video is harder for you. Uh, I'm sweating. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> that sounded so painful. <laughs> oh. Oh! I don't know if we should move to the, the, the driver. Oh my God. Oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah, no, don't. Yeah. I'll make sure the lighting's good oh. so you can see that nicely. Thank you, appreciate it. Yeah, the lighting looks great. It's a good looking thigh. Is that like a super mega paintball? Is that what it feels like? Yeah, paintball moving at 3,000 feet per second <laughs> and it's made of steel. <laughs> oh! It's a good thing I did legs yesterday. I got at least one more day before I got to do legs again. <laughs> so let's switch legs and try the, the, hybrid. the hybrid. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. After the seven iron, I think I've been humbled a little bit. Golf is a dangerous game. It is, it's uh, lethal, very lethal. How about this? Uh, before I get hit with the next one, demonstrate what you can do with your hybrid here. I wanna see the distance that bad boy gets. You got it. Houston. You ready? Houston. I think the ball is still going. I didn't hear it hit. You never played golf before. <laughs> well, it's a lame game. Am I now? Mature age of 28 years old. I realize this is a reckless activity. Who are you talking to? Myself. Huh. Yep. A very reckless activity. But this is for the betterment of mankind. I hope we all learn something from my leg being crushed with a ball. Oh, God. Oh! Okay. Oh. How did you hit the back of my leg? How? <laughs> How did you do that? It was right in my tendons. It was right in my tendons. No. Oh, right there. No. Oh. <laughs> uh, this is an interesting angle that we got here. It is. It's kind of suggestive. Just a little bit. Maybe if I zoom it now. <laughs> oh my God. Your flexibility is amazing. Hit right between your tendons. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. That's the bruise from the barbed wire whip, just so everyone knows. Jeez. Yeah, it's a two-week bruise. This was what I'm saying. More fat in my legs, more bruising. That's, that's... See, it confirms my theory. That's a good theory. Yeah, I know. All right, let's do another one. Oh! I get your butt cheek. <laughs> you hey. I need to shit. You poop hey, yourself? I'm hey. shitting. I'm going to go shit. We're not done! Not fair! <laughs> no one should ever have to go through what I'm going through right now. Oh my god, I felt that through the plywood! Oh, I felt that one. <laughs> oh my god, that was low! Oh, we're done. <laughs> Is that your butt cheek again? Again. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> we gotta do it again. You already hit your butt cheek. Hey! 
Oh, you're going to get the ball. Yeah, good idea. All right, Mark. We got a hamstring hit with the, the hybrid, a couple butt hits. I'm not going to blame you for, you know, all those misses because in golf, you're not trying to hit a target. You know, you're just trying to hit it down range, right? You're trying to hit it towards the flag. Flag, yeah, but the, you know, that's like really far away and you got like a lot of leeway. Yeah. So this is a tough one. This is a tough one to do. How we're going to end this video, we'll stick with the hybrid. We got a few more balls lined up. Let's see if we can hit me center mass in the leg. Do my best. That's all you can do. That's all I can do. And the people will hopefully be happy. Hopefully. Please be happy. Ah! Oh my God. Oh! Oh my God! <laughs> is really taking a beating, dude. That's what you kind of hit me in the same spot a few times. <laughs> yeah. yeah it's great. Uh, nice spot. <laughs> I know we said we would get to the driver, but we've been at this for how long now? Two hours. Two hours. We all got other stuff to do, so we're gonna wrap it here. But Mark did take a couple swings with the driver at the wall of safety, and uh, look what happened here. And went through this half inch plywood. You can see a hole straight through it. Go around to the back there, Jake. Yeah. Yeah. Not good. Not very safe. You're saying you're weaker than plywood? <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm definitely not saying that. Uh, listen, my ass took a pound in, in this video. That sure did. Okay. Uh, I think we aggregated enough data and we will inspect it all a few days from now and see what the data reveals. Will, will it reveal something good? That your ass is a big target. <laughs> I got a fat <laughs> Balls, that's a funny word. Oh, oh, hey, didn't see you there. So it's been three days and it's time to show you all the data we accumulated over the course of this experiment. First, I got hit with the pitching wedge, which ended up leaving a tiny bruise. Then I got hit with the seven iron, which left two more significant bruises, one in the back of my leg and then another on the side of my leg, which even ripped off some skin, thus creating a scab. But by far the most impressive data we accumulated was from the hybrid wood driver, which left a ginormous bruise on the back of my left leg and then an even more ginormous bruise on my left butt cheek. Seriously, look at these bruises. Tell me those aren't impressive. I mean. I, I at least think they're impressive. I, I, I get hurt a lot. <laughs> so yeah, golf balls can cause some pretty significant damage if they hit a person. And I'll even go as far as saying that if they hit you in the wrong spot, it could probably break a bone. But with that being said, now I am just super curious to know what that driver can do. So if you also are curious to know what the driver can do, get this video to 25,000 likes and we will for sure test it out in a future video. But also while you're at it, give me some suggestions on how to improve the wall of safety because as you saw, there were some critical flaws in the fact that it bounced the balls back, not only hitting people, but also we were risking $10,000 worth of camera gear catching a stray ball and being broken. So write some suggestions on how to improve that down in the comments below and it would be greatly appreciated. But until next time, I've been Houston Jones and I got a...